which is called highlight. Wait, actually, never mind, they don't have names. They just say highlight, 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 bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. Those are names. I don't know why they put them in the back. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a dupe alert. So today we are going to be um, kind of comparing the Kat Von D contour palette. This one right here to the Profusion Pro Contour Palette. So I was walking around Ross and I found um, this palette right here, which is called the Pro Contour um, Palette by Profusion. Profusion is sort of a drugstore brand that you mostly find at Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington, stores like that. Um, it's not sold at like a drugstore, but it's the prices. So I, saw this and of course it's a contour kit um, I don't have a lot of contour palettes except for this one and my LA Colors one which LA Colors one is also a drugstore one so the only expensive one is this one um, so I opened it and well actually I looked at the back you're gonna see right here I opened it and you BAM that looks that looks like the Kat Von D one no shame in their game. They automatically like just went ahead and copied the Kat Von D palette except um, all the pants are the same size. So this palette is a little bit bigger than this one. We compare them to each other. It's a little bit um, wider and yeah, the pants are bigger. On the Kat Von D one, the top pants are smaller. And the bottom ones are bigger, which I think should be backwards because I used the top ones a lot more. But um, yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and review these for you, kind of like together and just show you guys some swatches or something. Um, I'm sorry if you hear any background noise, I'm um, trying to get that figured out. But I still wanted to do this video for you guys, and I knew I was going to be talking a lot, but. Bear with me until I get this figured out. Um, so yeah, if you want to see, you know, swatches and everything, then keep watching. Half of my face, um, Kat Von D contour kit, and the other half is the Pro Contour. So, so if you see a difference between my face, then you know why. Um, I, I have my thoughts already. I have been using it for a while. I got it like last month. So, what I think about the palette, about the Pro, Pro Contour one, of course the Kat Von D one is hands down my holy grail contour kit ever, ever in my life. But, um, you know, I wanted to see if there was a good dupe, um, especially it was like $7. So, I mean, who doesn't want a cheaper dupe for it? So, whenever I swatch these, and I swatch them next to each other, the colors, they were pretty similar. I believe the only thing about the... Pro Contour Kit is that it's not as buttery or smooth as the Kat Von D one. If you own a Kat Von D Contour Kit, you know how buttery, buttery, buttery. Everything in Kat Von D, like um, their Shade and Light Eye Palette is so buttery and the shadows are just like amazingly crafted and just perfect and they blend out so, 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 so good. So. When I got this one, that's what I was kind of comparing it to. Um, I wanted to see if the shades were buttery, um, you know, the color of them, if they were compared to each other. Because, of course, my Kat Von D one, the yellow banana shade is gone. It's, it's like hip pan. I have around the edges only. So I'm dying. I need to buy another one. But um, when I found this, I was like, you know what? Maybe that banana powder in the middle, you know, it would be a good dupe and I don't have to spend $45 on a whole new palette for one color. You know what I mean? Let's try it out and see how it works. So today I noticed the differences because I actually put them next to each other. I had never done half of my face of one product and the other one. So um, the contour um, doesn't look so different. The only thing is I did use the same shades, of course, in the middle. I use this one to contour, and of course, in the Kat Von D one, I also used the middle shade to contour. Is this one came out a little bit muddier? It looked a, to me 
um maybe to you guys it doesn't look like that but to me it looks a little bit darker more cool. the banana shade to the Kat Von D one the one thing that I did notice between these two palettes is that the Kat Von D shade and um, shade and light contour palette the contour palette is completely matte um the shadows are completely matte you there's no reflection of them at all at all anything um what i did notice about the pro contour one um is that they're they have a little sheer sheerness to them um and they kind of shine which is not very good for a contour or um, a highlight like for setting your under eyes so that's what i noticed right now when i did my makeup um it doesn't bother me because i don't notice it that much but when I did put it on, I noticed it because, of course, I was comparing both sides. Again, this side is my pro, pro contour um, side, and this side is my cap on D side. Difference? I really don't. I took pictures, and it doesn't really look differently. But when you are applying it, you'll see the difference. If you have both, you can totally compare them, and you'll see the difference. But um, let me get to swatching these. And that way I can kind of show you guys and I bet you'll be able to see um, what I mean about the sheerness. Let me get some wipes over here. So let's start with making sure my hand is clean and my fingers. So we're going to start with this, um, this shade right here. Fallout. So whenever you put your brush, you are going to have some... Um, kind of powder like flying around it's not a problem for me but some people do not like that so um, the Kat Von D palette you barely get any so that's a little downside so let me try to swatch it for you that's from the Pro Contour uh, Pro Fusion palette and let me get the same shade from the pro contour um, is a little bit um, less pigmented than the Kat Von D one um, color wise they look pretty much the same it's just the pigmentation um, I think if I go in um, with another swatch yeah I went on with another swatch of the Pro Contour one on this side. I put another swatch on top and it looks exactly the same. To me, in person, it looks exactly the same. I hope y'all can see that. If not, I'm such a bad swatcher. But yeah. So that was this one versus this, is this one right here. So let's go over the banana shade which is the one that I was the most excited about but let's see how it does because I don't know. um so I got contour all over me okay so okay so the big swatch is the pro contour one because I swatched it wrong and the other one is the banana powder I mean the banana shade from the cat uh the cat bondi one so you can't really tell the difference unless you're in person. So this is the Kat Von D one and this is the other one. They kind of look the same. The color looks the same. The pigmentation is a little off because of course the Pro Contour kits always, I feel like it's going to be um, lacking pigmentation compared to the Kat Von D one. But I think if you can, um, you know, you can set your eye under eye and then just get a little bit more and set more. I think I don't have a problem with it because I don't think... Um, it's a huge problem but some people don't like that so um it's okay it just lacks pigmentation let me see like the other one let me see if i put another swatch if it will look kind of similar kind of um it actually looked a little bit more yellow than this one now but i i think it's good i think it's good um it's a good contender it's not bad not bad at all Okay, so now let's go in with the melon shade. So this is a uh, Pro Contour kit, and this is a Kat Von D one. 
you're gonna see hopefully the camera catches it you're gonna see that this one looks a lot peachier a lot more melon because of course it is the melon color and if you see them in the palette they do look um, different of course so it is a lot more pigmented Cap on D1, of course. And the other one is a little bit less. And you can't really tell it's a melony color. Um, let's see how it looks if I pack it on. If I pack on another swatch. Yeah, it still doesn't. Um, this one came out kind of patchy, kind of weird. So um, this one is a fail. Um, the other two were kind of comparable. This one looks kind of weird, so I don't. The, I don't really use the melon color. Um, it's kind of for color correcting. I don't really use it, so I don't really touch it. So I don't mind. But for people that do use that color, um, yeah, it's not a do for it at all. But. Um, I don't know. I I really like the Pro, Pro Contour palette. I believe it's a good dupe. So now let's go on to the contour shades. Okay. So let's start with, of course. And you know what I noticed, right? Especially right now that I'm um, swatching the contour shades of the Pro Contour a lot more creamier than the highlight shades. I don't know why. Maybe they're um, a little bit more difficult to make like buttery. I don't know. I didn't, I'm not a science t scientist, but um, yeah. I Right now that I touched it, it's a lot more creamier. So I hope you guys can catch that. This is the Pro Contour Kit, and this is the Cap on D Kit. Honestly, they look alike very much and it's only one swatch of each and it actually looks good so this one I think it's awesome um, I don't use this shade either I only use the two middle shades that's all I'm not a huge crazy contouring fan sometimes but um, yeah they're very comparable I really like this they're looking it's looking like it's a good dupe guys Okay, so the middle shade, because it's the shade that I use. The middle shade. There's a Pro Contour Kit and the Kat Von D Kit. So what I'm noticing here is that the Kat Von D Kit is a lot warmer. The Pro Contour, it has more of a cooler tone. Um, I like the warmer tone of the Kat Von D Kit because, of course, um, if y'all have seen my contouring video, I like warm tones a lot more than cool tones on me, even though people say it's bad, whatever. But on me, warm tone um, bronzers or uh, contour kits look a lot better. So that is why I have, you know, a warmer tone. And that is why I like that one. And this one looks more of a cool tone, kind of mauve purplish color. But um, actually, it's not that bad because, of course, people say that your contour is supposed to be more of a cool tone. So, um... I kind of like it. Let's see if I pack it on. Give it a little kind of the same. Yeah, it's still a little bit more gray. It's on the grayer side. But not bad. And these two are the ones that I actually used on my face today. So that is the reason why this side looks a lot more kind of muddy and this one doesn't. Get it? So now the last shade. Okay, so this is the last and final swatch. Um, Pro Contra Kit, Kat Von D Kit, Yawn of the Drone. So this one is a lot cooler, a lot darker, and this one's more on the warm side um, compared to that. So yeah, those are those. Pigmentation is um, good, not bad. It came out patchy because I um, had was wet, but um, pretty much they look alike. They're they're not bad. So. Final results. Three, let me see. Four, right? Four out of the six shades were comparable to the T, um, and two of them were not. Um, but I honestly think that it's a very good dupe. It does have its cons and its pros. Its pros is that um, it does have similar pigmentation. 
the colors do are kind of similar um, not to the not to the exact similarity to it but they are similar in a lot of ways except you know it might be a little bit more of a cooler tone than the Kat Von D one so if you do not like cool tones on your skin I do not recommend it but if you like more of a cool tone contour and you want to try it out then go ahead I think it would be good for you besides that I think it did pretty good I mean it's not exactly the same but it's a pretty good dupe if you're on a budget so I mean if you do not want to buy a $45 one I think it's $45 if you do not want to buy this one, and but you still want to, it's good for beginners. If you want to practice contouring, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, go ahead and try and find this one. Um, I think it is very good for $7. I mean, who would pass that up? So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. Um, I'm sorry if there's any background noise. I am trying to get that figured out. But... Yeah, I hope you guys understood me in most of the video. I just wanted to show you guys. That's why I picked this up to um, kind of review it and see if it was a dupe or not. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will be back with some tutorials soon. So, I love you guys and I'll see y'all later.